Well, I was going to say because you were holding the I, door yeah. open, I was afraid a wasp was going to fly into the car again. Yeah, I the wasp. I just killed a mosquito on my arm. I was hoping I, that was the only one. Have you ever heard that like if a mosquito starts biting you and you flex your muscle, it'll, it'll like get stuck? Well, I've heard it'll get stuck on you and it'll also pop on you. Yeah, I've heard that from you. Did you do it? No. <laughs> oh, I told you. <laughs> hey, we're guys. about to go get Chick-fil-A. And it's a big deal because I haven't had it in two and a half to three years, I believe. And he's never had it. And I don't know how that happened because I'm a fried... I just fried... don't go there. It's that easy. <laughs> I'm a fried chicken fanatic. And he doesn't eat fast food, which was weird when we first started dating way back when. Do you know where the movie theater is? It's over by the mall. But you know where you're going? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm because I <laughs> will wing everything. I always do. Okay, so a little backstory. Um, so I used to eat fast food more frequently back in college because you know that's what's available on campus. It's convenient. It's fast. You know, you can swing by on your way to your next class, whatever. But Nico has always he grew up very healthy and. Uh, he worked out a lot. I mean, look at these biceps. We did do arms today. Can you? I think I got the arms. I like that. <laughs> but, you know, he likes to eat healthy. And he was getting ready to, what would you call it? Enter the Marine Corps? Join the Marine Corps? Yeah. Yeah, he was joining the Marine Corps. So, you know, big buff man. Must be healthy. And okay, let's be clear. I did not eat fast food because I was joining the Marine Corps. I just don't like eating fast food in general. It makes me sick. I was just eating healthy for so long that any time over the years, like when I was a teenager and I ate fast food, I just found it made me sick to my stomach. So, you yeah. know, the more times that happened, the, uh, the less likely I was to eat it. And then once I joined the military, it really wasn't available in my area, and like I, it didn't fit with my lifestyle in the infantry. So. Yeah. Which was weird to me, because you know, I didn't eat a lot of fast food, but definitely more than him. And there was like one time we went to the beach, and for some reason everything was closed. There was no restaurants open. No, like, there was almost no fast food open. The only fast food that was open was Bojangles. Love me some Bojangles. And thank God, at the time, that was the only fast food he was able to still tolerate, so. It wasn't that I really tolerated it. It was just that, like, the, f it was like the chicken was good enough to chicken. suffer. <laughs> That's really what it came down to for me. If I was gonna <laughs> feel sick, at least I would enjoy the chicken initially. Initially. I enjoy it through and through. Mm. Opportunity. Anyways, yeah, so, you know, I eventually got into eating healthier. Thanks because of me. Because of my wonderful influence over here. And she did not like it. In the <laughs> I did not like it in the beginning. No, it was weird. It's not, not, again, not that I ate it a lot, but it was just like, whenever it was convenient, I would go get something in school. Yeah, looking back, I think it's been a year and a half right now since I've last had any fast food because I would get it with friends if someone wanted to go grab quick lunch while shopping or something you know then I would go eat with them but it's been about a year and a half since I've had fast food of any sort and it's been about two to two and a half three years since I've had Chick-fil-a so I'm really excited that he has finally agreed to try Chick-fil-a for the first time because that means I get to have Chick-fil-a again and I think it's gonna be interesting to see what he thinks. I'm hoping he'll be a convert so that, you know, if we go somewhere and we need a quick bite, Chick-fil-A will be on the option, will be an option. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I can hope. A girl can hope. Keep hoping. Keep hoping. I'm gonna keep hoping. She's um. got high hopes for the living. <laughs> All right. We are approaching the Chick-fil-A. It's a happening. Oh wow. This is a new one too. They like just opened. I think the guy that opened it owns the other one that's in town. Alright, you guys. 
the food has been ordered and oh potato -y goodness yeah. it smells glorious yeah it actually does smell good although i feel like a lot of fast food smells good to me initially but then you know again i eat it and i'm like oh i'm gonna but... eat this and i'm gonna say mm. Yeah, so I gotta be honest, I wasn't gonna order anything. I was just gonna let her order and I was gonna like... We were gonna share one meal yeah. because I was probably gonna eat the rest of it. The whole thing. You know, Minus again, it. since it kind of makes me sick, I didn't want to risk anything before going to the movies. So Cause this movie important. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're gonna go see Top Gun. You know, Top Gun Maverick, the new one, and uh, Top Gun is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely heavily inspired me my entire life. So I have been looking forward to this movie since like I was born. Okay. So the fact that it's now out after like two years of delays, like three years, mm. it's kind of a big deal for me. So, but I caved because I was really hungry. So I decided to order a whole meal as well so we're gonna see what happens we're gonna go eat we got a park nearby we're gonna go park at and enjoy this meal and or i'm gonna see if i enjoy this meal i'm gonna enjoy it that fry is just as good as i remember she's already enjoying it yeah we did tell the guy that it was his first time and of course chick-fil-a is known for their customer service top-notch friendly people this smells so good I will say though, he got no pickles and I got extra pickles. I used to not even like pickles. I hated pickles, but then in college we had a Chick-fil-A and I would go all the time and... Yeah, it used to be something I really loved about her that she didn't like pickles and now... I don't know why, I just started liking pickles. I despise pickles, so... I know. only like pickles, um... Might have to divorce her soon. <laughs> I only like pickles on sandwiches. Okay. So it's tiny. It's... Oh, it's a sandwich. Okay, so he's a little disappointed at first. Inside. And then there's the fries. I only took one from that one, and I took one from the other one. So they're balanced. Wow. Okay. No, I will say this is not the medium I remember. This is not the no medium used to be so much bigger. Did they change their portion sizes like McDonald's did? Because I know McDonald's made their. Ch their children's fries, their Happy Meal fries, is now considered small. And napkins. Yeah, they have napkins. Okay, I will say negative <laughs> one point for the change in fry size. There's some straws. He got a milkshake. I've never had their milkshake, so I can't vouch for the milkshake. Ooh, they be throwing in some chicken sauce. Wow, it's, it's literally bread and a piece of chicken. You're gonna be so upset, and I'm gonna be so upset that you're upset. Okay, I gotta fix that. I'm upset that you're upset. A classic. I don't, I don't know if I wanna put sauce on it. Just don't put sauce on it, just take a bite. It's Cause we're in the car, primarily. I don't know, like, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it for you while you take your, how are the fries? It's a little dirty to say you're just gonna hold it for me on camera. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Here we go? Here we go? I feel like we're not getting the full experience because you have your sunglasses on. Okay. How is it? Is it juicy? I feel like you took a bite from- It's a from... fried piece of chicken. How can it be juicy? <laughs> juicy chicken. I mean, it's not, I guess, not like dried out on the inside, but I wouldn't say it's like juicy. I've seen better pieces of chicken, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I it's, mean, it's not, it doesn't taste horrible. Yeah. But I am disappointed. Like, I mean, at the same time, I have high expectations when it comes to food. Like, and I eat a lot of food. A lot. Um, so the fact that there's like no lettuce, no tomato. They but... have an option for that, babe. You, you told me to get what I was going to get, and I was just going to get a plain-ass sandwich. This girl over here, okay, <laughs> I she knows. I okay? don't. And I literally said on camera. Why didn't you look at I've the menu I've never been to Chick-fil-A. I don't know anything about the menu. And 
the biggest downside to going to them is that they just assume you know what you want to order. So there's no menu to look at when you go through the drive through No, there was, but you know, Chick-fil-A, they like come to your car for you to like speed things up. So like the menu was like way up front and we were like way in the back. And so we couldn't look at the menu, which I did comment on. Um, so I'm over here just eating tangy. a piece of chicken. So Dip between. it in the sauce. Do you want the sauce? I licked it. Do you want a new sauce? You licked the sauce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just taste it again. <laughs> things I have to deal with in this relationship. Okay, stop being weird. <laughs> I'm sorry that you... You should be. You ruined my experience. No! Yeah. They had like, I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's called. They have one with like tomatoes and lettuce and cheese and I don't get that. Why didn't you look at the menu last night? When do I ever look at a menu ahead of time? You always do that, that research because you can't ever decide what you want. That is your fault. I don't that have is that your problem. Fault. Okay, try it with I this. I didn't know that you don't get a look at a menu when you go through a drive through Does it taste better with the sauce? Well, yeah, because it's no longer just a plain piece of chicken and bread. <laughs> well, that's because you don't get pickles. Why would I want to ruin a perfectly good sandwich with pickles? No, it's perfectly good with the pickles. I love when you ask for extra pickles, they just like layer that on. Yeah, at least the sauce is like some sort of honey mustard. Yeah, right? It tastes like honey mustard, kinda. So, I mean, that's a point for me <laughs> on my side, but like, I don't know, mine is <laughs> sandwich being nothing but chicken and bread. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I feel like my chicken Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh baby, babe. Okay. Like he said, I do think this is not extra pickles. What the heck are you talking about? I feel like they usually give you three. How's your milkshake? It's alright. It's a milkshake. I won't ask you for a sip because you know I'm not, I'm not as big of a milkshake person as you. It's really not that, like, you can have a sip. You'll share? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's just a milkshake. It's a basic milkshake. It's not bad. So final thoughts on Chick-fil-A. It's still as good as I remember. I am upset about the um, lessening of the french fries. My sandwich would have been a lot better if someone had told me that it didn't come with tomatoes and lettuce to begin with. I was never appealed by that kind of sandwich at Chick-fil-A, so it just doesn't occur to me. So you find just a piece of chicken slapped between two things of yes, bread. Yes, drenched <laughs> in sauce. Oh my god, I was dripping so much sauce, but luckily I was using the bag as like a little, um, like a little plate. I do have a lot of fry crumbs in my lap though. Cause... Okay, real real talk. I wasn't horribly um... disappointed. You weren't well, disappointed. Oh, I yeah. Oh, well, can I be disappointed with something that I don't even want per se? <laughs> I didn't hate it. it. It wasn't gross going down. I feel like as far as fast food goes, it was tolerable, which from me is like a five star review, basically. Yeah. Anyways. See you next time. Bye.